Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today we've got the Epson XP6000. Basically, today I'm going to be unboxing the Epson XP6000 and uh, we're going to go into it. First I'm going to unbox it and then I'm going to give a review as well as a little bit of a setup uh, tutorial. So you've got three in one. Uh, just so you guys know, there is going to be a link in the description below. It's going to be the very first link where you can go ahead and buy this printer. Uh, it's on sale right now, and so I would, uh, if you were kind of on the fence about buying it, I hope this uh, video helps you either decide uh, for or against it. And again, that um, link is in the description below for you to go ahead and purchase that as well. Along with that, there is also some other links in the description below, and as you see there on the bottom of the screen is my uh, website, bestprinterstech.com. We'll get more into that later, but for now, let's go ahead and get right into the unboxing. Okay. So I'm using this. Okay, so here you've got a uh, power cord and no USB cord, but usually they just come with the power cord and as well as your ink. So your your printer is going to come with some um, some ink here just to start off. So just to start off, we've got ourselves some black ink, and I'm, yeah, this is just the black ink, so I'm uh, expecting that somewhere else in the package there will be some color ink. Alright, so there's your printer, there's your printer, and we're going to go ahead and pull it out. It's a nice compact printer already, right here I could tell where that um, the last printer I reviewed was the Workforce 7710 that's a much bigger printer this is a much smaller printer um, much more compact and this is going to be more geared towards taking photos if you look at my other review video on the Workforce 7710 it's more of just an office printer printing color um, or rather um, uh, black documents and a lot of just paperwork this is going to be geared towards uh, pictures and uh, being able to print out good quality pictures. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take this guy out. Take that off. So there's the XP6000. Looks like we've got a few more things here. So we've got our color ink here and another part of in, in another part of the uh, packaging. They're gonna come in some bags like this. So so far we've got our black, and I think we're missing one color there. And it might be. It is gonna be right in here. So we've got here another black, a smaller black, this is the XL, and we've got the yellow. So you've got all your ink there, all your starter ink to go ahead and start up. And that's basically it. What you would do is just take off all the blue tape because you really don't need it. There's also always make sure when you are opening these printers that the print head inside also has blue tape and you're going to want to take that off and I'll show you what the print head is in just a moment if you don't know what that is. Alright, so you're going to lift this up, always check the glass, glass looks good, I'll go ahead and take this one off, this blue tape, take it off, and then the second one you're going to lift right up like this, okay, and you're going to see that there's some tape here, right inside. Okay, so if you see here, this is what the print head is, this is where you put your ink, and so what is happening now is you're needing to take off this blue tape because or else it won't 
it won't move out of place. And you've also got some paper here, it looks like, covering the print head. And I'm going to go ahead and in another video, um, in the future if there are any issues, I'm going to show you a method to be able to fix it. But that's basically all you got to do if you have issues with your print head. So take off all the plastic before you get this, before you get the printer started. But this is your print head. Make sure it's free and clear. Now it is. And we can go ahead and continue with the setup. All right, so once that's done, we're just going to continue taking off a few more. This is really what it comes with. You've got the printer here and you've got a manual with the CD, which every printer should come with. Um, and then you've got your color ink and you've got the printer. And so right now we're going to go ahead and uh, we are going to turn it on and we'll go ahead and get started with the setup and I'll give you my opinion on how I feel about this printer. So this is this uh, power um, supply connection is right here on the left side. So you go ahead and plug that in. You've also got a back paper tray. This is a, so this is the uh, duplexer. So this is gonna allow you to print double-sided and um, it's gonna give you basically that capability. So this is a duplexer printer. Put it right back in there. All right, so we'll go ahead and power it on. Okay, right away, this screen pops up just like that. We're gonna hit okay for the English, and we are now processing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we are going to install the ink. All right, so this is the best angle we could get. Um, so you're gonna have, you've got your black 302i there. We're gonna take this off. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and grab your ink. Make sure that this um, this board is facing this way because it's gonna be going and going ahead and connecting right in there. So just like that, it should click right into place. The next one I would do is cyan. And you're set. You've got all your ink and you are ready to go and continue the setup. Okay, so we'll go ahead and continue with the setup. So next, you're gonna just go ahead and click installed. Now this is apparently, <laughs> and obviously, this is not touchscreen. This is not a touchscreen printer, so you're gonna have to use the uh, buttons on the side here manually to go ahead and click that it is installed and cover this up. Close that up. All right, so this is gonna take a little bit of time uh, to go ahead and set up. Uh, give it about 10 minutes, it says, at the most. Basically, the print head is gonna get set in place. It's gonna move back and forth a few times. The ink is gonna settle in there, and it just needs some time also for the ink to just settle into the print head. So while we're waiting here, just for a second, I'm gonna go ahead and mention a few items that I've got in the description below. If you don't already have it, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description below for uh, Amazon Prime so that if you're buying this printer or you're buying any items in the future, um, it's super discounted and I believe uh, you're going to have uh, your first 30 days are going to be free. So I'm going to leave that link in the description as well um, so that if you're deciding to that buy this printer, you can get it quickly. Um, the first link is going to be to this printer here. The next link is going to be to my website, bestprinterstech.com, and I've mentioned it already, but um, you can go ahead and purchase this printer there, but if you were also looking to uh, shop around for some other printers, um, there's, it's going to be on that website as well, bestprinterstech.com. That is my website that I created, that I have a lot of products that I sell on there, uh, including a cleaning kit, which I'm going to make another video about, and it's going to be the, probably the video after this one, where I'm showing you basically if in the future you have issues with your printer, um, with the print head, with the quality, I have a cleaning kit that is able to fix that and it's uh, very inexpensive and I've got it on sale right now. Um, so you can find that on my website. Along with that, um, I've got an ebook showing you how to uh, sell printers. I, um, for five years now, I have been reselling printers and, uh, now, and now doing review videos for printers. 
but for many years I created a business and made uh, decent money from selling printers and so I have compiled an ebook put together some information as far as what I did as far as what I did with um, uh, sourcing and my budgeting and it just really goes really in depth so if you want to go ahead and grab that it's called I make money online selling printers that's an ebook that you can go ahead down in the description right now and go ahead and purchase that it's very inexpensive and it's really if you only do it part-time and you get a little bit out of it uh, you're gonna make hundreds of dollars I can almost guarantee that because right when I started it's very easy to just go ahead go in put a certain amount of money in and get a certain money a certain amount of money out I'll go ahead and we'll speed up this part and we'll go ahead and get back into the the unboxing review and setup of the Epson XP 6000 this is just a quick commercial again just a reminder in the description below so this I would honestly not do this right now you can probably adjust it later just remember if you're gonna skip it to do it later but right now we're gonna skip it just because of uh, just for um, time's sake yeah, so you would just go into your maintenance and I'll show you how to do that in just a mo moment. Okay, so here we are on the main menu. And uh, just like the other, like the Workforce 7710, um, you've got a lot of things here on the top, only it's not touchscreen and I just tried to do that. So you can check your ink there. You can uh, uh, go ahead and go on Wi-Fi here and you can mute it. You can put it on quiet mode, on or off. And it's very uh, straightforward and um, simple. <clears throat> so you've got copy, photo, uh, print photos, scan. So all the main things that you would have. And then you've got your main maintenance here, which if you have any issues, you're going to need. So print head alignment, that's where you would go ahead and go if you skip that part. But we didn't do that today uh, just because of, of the video. So that's really what it is. This is the menu. It's very, very simple. Uh, not a whole lot to it. So now what I really wanted to show is the fact that this printer has an SD slot. And a lot of these expressions, uh, XP6000 uh, and up models or lower, um, the premiums have the SD card. But this is something that on the Workforce 7, 7710, it does not have. And so it just has this USB right here like this one does but it does not have the sd which as you know from a camera you're gonna it's way easier to just stick in the sd card and be done with done with it and be printing uh photos so really quick um just so that you see how the paper trays and the um, printer paper uh trays look so this is going to be your first tray of three okay so your first tray is basically regular paper okay that is what your first tray is regular paper and um, that's all it really is you can adjust it as well of course right here to make it smaller or bigger but that's going to be your first paper tray your basic one your next one is going to be more geared towards uh, photo paper this comes right off so you can go ahead and adjust it as much as you need and that's going to be for photo photo paper and it slides in right in really nicely so you're just going to want to make sure that it stays up front like this now the next one this is not a paper tray this is actually um just this is a paper tray that ho that um holds the paper once it's coming out and being printed or the photo it's kind of indented and and goes down like this so that when photos print out it uh, has space for it but it's interesting on this printer your cd printer so if you're planning on printing cds you would pull out the very bottom paper tray you would pull it right out and it's gonna be if you, you see right here the top right corner there's a tab for the cd you're gonna go ahead and you can just pull it right out and you can use it that way so whenever you're done you put it right back but when if you're printing onto a cd you just slide it right in here and that's really all it is you just make sure it lines up and you're good so that's that those are the photo trays photo and paper trays 
So to put it right back, it just slides right in very easily. It's got a few brackets here on the side. And it slides right back in, and then you can just put this bottom paper tray right back in. All right, so that's really all there is to it. I'm not gonna make this video too long. I think we have covered the basics. Um, if you have any questions, you know, go ahead and comment below. But overall, I think this is an okay printer. It's not my favorite printer in the world just because it doesn't have the uh, top paper feeder like I would like. Um, but again, this is mainly for if you're printing photos. Um, and this does have really, really good quality when it comes to printing those photos. So you've got an SD card and you also got the USB. I love that. I love all the options here. I like how it's compact. That's, that's really my favorite thing. Uh, is that it's small and it's very light, it's easy to deal with, and the printer ink is easy to install. Um, just everything about it flows really well. The only thing um, I would say that it needs is we're already up in the 6000 range, you know, Epson XP 6000. It's 2018. You know, I believe that this should really have a, it should have a touch screen. You know, it should be, you should have the ability to just zoom right through everything and click everything. And, um, but that's not the case here. You really just need to use this thing on the, this, uh, the controls on the side there. But what I would really like to see is them make these printers touchscreen. I would also like to see a much bigger screen. I think the screen is way too small, especially if you're doing photos. I think that the screen probably should, you know, be double or triple the size of what it is. Um, but other than those things right there, other than not being touchscreen, and not having the top paper tray. In my opinion, I uh, really like everything else about it, how it's geared towards just taking pictures. And of course, you're gonna have the good quality, uh, the other good quality printing, uh, which is the regular printing. So it really depends on what you need it for. If you are wanting to <coughs> print some really good photos and you need to print on CDs, um, and you're really more like 50% of your printing is probably gonna be that, or you know, you're gonna do a larger percentage of printing in you know, photos, this is the right printer for you. But if not, if you just needed a regular office printer, this is not a printer for you. And I will include a link to the Epson Workforce 7710. You could also watch a review video on that uh, printer. I'm gonna leave that also in the description below, a link to that. So a lot of resources for you. I really hope this was a helpful video as far as showing you how the printer looks, how it works, um, what you're really gonna get. Um, really what you're gonna get from purchasing this printer, how to install the ink, and just the unboxing in general and giving my opinion as far as what I like about it, what I don't like. Uh, I think I covered pretty much everything. All right, that's really all there is to it. There's nothing else I can really cover on this printer. I've shared with you the pros and the cons to the printer, and um, I think it's a good printer. I would probably give it a 3.9 out of five stars, and that is a best printer's rating. Uh, that's how I'm going to rate it on my website. So if you want to go ahead and check out the blog review that I did for this printer, it's going to be on bestprinterstech.com. And um, make sure to go down in the description below. There's a lot of resources, and I have put in a lot of work into adding all the resources that you would possibly need. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. But other than that, thanks for watching and until next time.